horses on New Year's Eve, walking down my Brooklyn street. And I saw fireworks in your eyes. I was falling, falling, falling one year ago at this time. Now I'm trying, trying, trying to get back my mind. I'll take my photographs, wrap them in bubble wrap. I'm leaving for the weekend, or maybe for the year. I'll secure all my edges, all the fragile remarks that were. So I went and got the bus stuck. It's bottomed out on this bank here. And you know my tires don't have the best tread in the world. So it's probably not getting much of a grip. And just to make matters worse, I see I broke my water line here. So this is bad. Be easy to fix it, but I try not to destroy parts of the bus when I back it up usually. So chalk it up to another misstep on my part. So my buddy's coming over with his pickup and we're gonna pull it out, I hope. Well, try as we might, it just wasn't gonna go. Uh, luckily I have AAA plus RV, so I'm gonna have to give them a call. Uh, but first, a wise man once said, if at first you don't succeed, find something you can take a crowbar to. Yes, so now might be a good time to rip out the ceiling in the bathroom back at the house. Well, I'll show you what i got going on here in my spare bathroom. Um, there's apparently a hole in the roof, a leak. And look at this, up here on the ceiling i got this black mold going on. And this is uh, kind of dissolving away over here. That's all not good. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be tearing this ceiling off of here first and uh, go from there. What do you think? An improvement? At least my voice sounds better, huh? Look at the mess. It took a few minutes, this stuff comes down, it's like cardboard. At least the part that got wet, and the other part is not even much better than that. Got a little bit more to go. So, you can see it was leaking. Somewhere up there, I'm going to have to take all that out of there. That side over there was pretty wet. This wasn't, this wasn't over here, so it's, the leak is up there somewhere. Wow. So I tore it off. Came off pretty easily. I got it still a little bit in the corners here, but the main thing, at the moment, is fixing that leak first. Um, and what happened is, uh, uh, about four years ago a tree fell on the house. There's a big storm back in the back there And I'm pretty sure that's what what is doing this is that There's a hole There was at the time I tarred it up really well and that that worked for years, but uh, uh, Just the other day there was a big rainstorm and it's uh, started dripping on my head and uh, anyway I'll show you that when I cut when I tear this uh, insulation out here, but um, this is a manufactured home, 
And I don't know if they're all like this, but this one, the uh, roof trusses are scary. They're made out of uh, a one by two and uh, some like three eighths inch plywood or something like that. So this is actually just a one by two coming across here. And so I can't put regular sheetrock on there. It's not really, it's not strong enough really to hold it. So what you need to do is uh, um, you need to sister it. I think it's called. You put another two by like two by six, I guess, probably what I'll use, and put new joists in there to hold the sheetrock. I got these big old uh, contractor bags to put all the debris in. One of these, these are big. One of these, all of the ceiling fit into one of those things. So thought it'd be fitting. Contractor bags. I am a contractor, but I don't build things for a living. I write software. I build stuff and for fun in my spare time. Oh, there we go. That's really styling now, huh? There's there's leaking right there. No, no, right there. See? So, not the horrible damage up there I was afraid of, though. But you can see how these rafters are made, see? I mean, not the rafters, the trusses. See that? One by twos. Real trusses are made out of two by fours. So these things are scary, so they, they, they're they not going to hold a lot of weight. They got this cheap mobile home ceiling stuff. So I'll free, reframe these with two by six joists and put sheetrock after figure out what to do about this. Well, at least I found it. It's easy to find the leak now, huh? Well, back at the bus, uh, Dick's towing showed up with a monster uh, tow truck. Uh, the driver wanted to see the inside of the bus, so I gave him the tour. And he's saying I'll, he wants to get one of those uh, kind of roundish kind of buses. Uh, the old ones, I said, oh yeah, Gillig, yes, yeah, I want to get a Gillig and fix it up. So it's comforting to know there are other people in the world who are crazy enough to want to convert a bus like that, like me. <laughs> so check this out. Look at this thing. That that tow truck just grabbed the bus, pulled it sideways right out of there just like it was nothing. That is a serious tow truck, man. Uh, really nice. Those guys did nice work. Uh, not a single dent or any damage. He's funny. He goes... Well, there's no damage, you know, all he says, except for the part you did when you parked it there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, anyway, hey, uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys are doing well, and we'll catch you next time. Later.